hello guys and welcome back to the channel this is Ayush and now in this video we are going to cover the one command that is the change mode or you can say ch mode also uh, basically this command is used to change the permissions so this thing we have covered in our last video okay so now uh, particular ch mode is one of the command that we basically use to change the permissions of the certain files or directories you can say okay if you don't want to provide uh, uh, permission to any user or uh, any groups or uh, anything any other user whom you don't want to provide access or want to provide access then you can use this particular command okay so now in this video uh, first of all let me increase the size so it will be visible to you so now what we have to do I will create one directory that is uh, uh, access deny like this Now what I have to do, I will create uh, two folders or you can see directories also, secret1, secret2 and one file that is private.txt, okay. Now you can see I have done ls so these are all the files or directory which we have created. Now when I will do ls hyphen l so you can get this information of the long format in the long format okay. So I hope you are aware of this what is drwx uh, okay and uh, what is this hyphen I hope you are but uh, let me tell you one more time like what are these things. So basically hyphen is for files r is for read so if you will provide read permission then you can read that file then if you provide write then you can write therefore if you provide execute then that file will be executable okay so for uh, for like in depth information you can watch our previous video on the permissions okay so now what we have to do uh, today in this video what we will go uh, going to do like we will change the permissions of certain files or directories okay so now uh, the command which I was talking about that is ch mode it basically stands for change mode okay change mode of what files or directories so uh, we have learned already learned the uh, like two representations of this uh, permissions like one is a uh, uh, numerical and one is alphabetical like when you will do rwx it is alphabetical and 421 is for what numerical okay so now what I will do, I will first uh, clear the screen and let's siphon it. So now you can see the file permission of this private.txt. So this uh, uh, is file and uh, this uh, is this uh, like uh, file has not any executable permission of this of the user or any other like on group also and for others uh, it has only read permission. Okay. So now what I have to do I will try to add uh, executable permissions to this particular file okay so how can I do it so the most and uh, simple approach is ch mode plus plus means basically when you want to add permissions to each and every like user group and others so then we will use plus so now what we have to do I have to use X like I have to add executable permission to this file then file name then enter now again I will try to check the permission so here you can see in users also executables has been added in groups also executables has been added and in what we say in others also executables has been added so this is the most basic approach for adding uh, permissions in some files or directories and here you can see uh, the color has been also changed because it has now the executable permission that's why color has been changed from normal to green okay so uh, what if you want to remove permissions okay so there is also a way for it if I want to remove permissions uh, like uh, executable uh, okay so what I will do minus x minus y minus because we use minus to remove the permissions 
now again you can give the file name that is private.txt again same thing I'll repeat ls l and here you can see executable permission has been removed from the user also group also and others also okay so this is the simple basic approach what if you want to remove uh, like uh, what we can say all the permissions so if I will do ch mode minus rw private.txt now here you can see all the permissions has been removed from this private.txt like uh, uh, user has also no any permission or whether the groups has also not not any permission and others also have has not any permission so now what will happen I will try to access this file so let's see what happens here you can see permission is denied why it's showing this error because the read permission like we have removed the, all the permission so simultaneously read permission has also been removed okay so what I if I will add only the read permission okay what will happen now ch mode plus read then file name again I will do ls hyphen l and here you will see the read permission has been added to all the groups now what I will do I will try to access this file private.txt and here you can see uh, but uh, here nothing is written that's why it's showing like uh, nothing is, has been printed but uh, now you can see we can access this but here also you can see the write permission is not there so what if I will try to write some kind of files uh, or some kind of thing or text in this file then let's see what happens whether we are able to write or not so here you can see permission denied why because uh, you don't have write permission mm, to change uh, uh, to change anything in this particular file okay so uh, I hope you got it like how this uh, like we can remove permissions we can add permissions then how we can remove certain permissions uh, together or add or remove okay like we did here like we did we remove two permissions together in this case hyphen rw okay so uh, this approach is basically applies for if you want to apply certain permission for all the like the, uh, for all these three like for the users also for the groups also and for the this one others also what if you want to apply permissions to only user okay so how will you do it okay so in this case what will happen how you can do it like uh, let me clear the screen ls iphone okay now uh, what I want to do I want to give the read uh, sorry write permission to only the user okay so how I can do it ch mode then for user we use u and equal to is used to like assign certain only a specified permission to that particular uh, user group or other okay now I will use here w and then private.txt and here you can see w has been added okay but uh, uh, yeah but read permission has been removed but uh, so basically what happens here in this case uh, when you provide this uh, u equal to w so it only like what we can say it only are uh, like uh, add that permission and whatever you have a default permission it will get removed okay so when we will use equal so it will just replace or you can say it will remove the other permission and it will add this new one okay so now what I have to do I will do uh, like add re read permission again in this user so how I can do it ch mode u plus read okay private or txt so here you can see we have added read permission as well in this particular file what if you want to give uh, uh, like uh, write permission to this one 
to other uh, two groups also for for groups so there is a notation of uh, what we can say g okay and again ls hyphen l if you do a you can see right permission has been added and for others we use o again ls hyphen l and here you can see the right permission has been added in this private dot txt file okay so in this way uh, you can add remove permission for users for groups uh, or for others okay so this is basically for the like what we can say uh, alphabetical notation okay but uh, but uh, numerical notation is uh, i think it's uh, good to use like uh, it is easy also you can easily understand but if you're a beginner you will think like yeah this is a uh, easy so so now what i have to do i have i will remove all the permissions from this uh, what we can say private.txt file so ch mode minus rw from all it will remove the from all the okay new permissions are w minus uh, okay uh, let me try to remove like this like a equal to or zero zero i can give yeah so now here you can see all the permission has been removed why zero zero i will tell you uh, in a little bit now so now what we have to do we will add permissions in this particular file using the octal notation of the like this uh, octal notation of what we can say permission so uh, le uh, let me uh, like uh, tell you those things again so that will be helpful for you so for octal notation what happens we use r equal to 4 okay and uh, we use uh, write 2 and execute equal to 1 okay so if you want to give the matlab means all permissions okay like read write execute to particular user or particular group or particular other okay so what you will need to do you will need to give it as a 7 like you want to give 4 also you want to give 2 also you want to give x also okay so overall it is 7 so let me tell you with an example so that will be easy to understand okay so now what I will do ch mode 777 seven. this 7 is for first 7 is for user second 7 is for group and this third 7 is for others so if I will do 777 seven, seven, it will give all the permission to all those user group and others and now I will do ls hyphen n and here you can see all the permission has been added to that particular private.txt file so now i will do some kind of changes i will again remove all the permission by applying 000 to all those okay so here i have removed all those permissions so now in this case what i have to do i have to only give the read permission okay uh, let me open a text file for you uh, or another terminal i will open So for R what we have 4, for write what we have 2, for execute what we have 1. So in this case what I want to give uh, uh, the user only I want to give them read and write. Okay. So for user I will just write 6. Okay. And I want to give the group only write permission. So 2. And I don't want any kind of permission to others. So I will give it there as 0. Okay. And then file name. So now here you can see we have only read write permission to this user only write permission to the group and there is no any permission to the 
what we can say uh, others okay so uh, in this i hope you got it like how you can uh, change the permission based on this octal number i hope you got it there like we have covered this in the last video okay so r equal to 4 to 1 that is 7 if it is 7 then it will you know, give you the all the permissions data it execute together okay now what if you want to uh, give permissions like uh, what you can say Suppose if you want to change permission uh, from read write for user, I will just give them as a one. Let's see what happens. So here you can see only like what you can say others has been added execute. Okay, not anyone else. Okay, so this is happening. I think because of uh, we have provided only one. One means uh, there is not a uh, three values. So now what we will do? I will provide one to everyone. Let's see what happens. You will see. You have to only play with it. When you will not play, then you will not learn anything. Okay. So that's all depends upon you. So here you can see if I provide a one to everyone, so only execute permission has been added to all of them. Okay. And if I provide two. So let's see what happens. Only write permission has been added. Okay. So I hope you got it. Uh, let, let me provide the uh, like uh, for user I will provide only execute. For uh, group I will provide uh, write and execute that is three and other zero. What happens? Same execute write execute and zero okay so i hope you got it like uh, how you can uh, do or change the permissions with the help of this octal numbers and all okay so uh, that's all for today yeah one more concept is remaining here like uh, when i will do ls hyphen l here you will sometimes get uh, hyphen uh, high not hyphen you will get instead of x you will get some kind sometime s so S is nothing but a set UID. It basically means like when you will provide the file uh, like uh, with that permission. So what will happen? It will run that particular file on behalf of you. Okay. So uh, let me uh, check about the password. Uh, One minute, let's iPhone L user bin. Okay, so here you can see the S, and here who is the user? Root is the user, and also here is root is the user. I hope you know about the root user. Like this is the main user. If if you are not able to run any file, you don't have any pressure, then you you can use the root user to run run those files. So here what happens, this is the password is one of the command to change the uh, password of your uh, PC okay, or your this machine. So basically what happens when we run this password command, so we basically run this password command on behalf of whom, on behalf of this root user. That's why we have given it them as a S permission, that is a set UID permission. Okay, what will happen whenever you will run this password command, okay, so what happens? It will like say you are changing uh, uh, password for Ayush. Okay, so I don't have to change it right now. So here, what is happening? This command is running on behalf of this root user. That's why we provide that uh, S permission. So this is basically a special permission. You can learn more about this on the Google. Okay. So I don't have to change. Okay, I will just close the terminal. That's all. So I hope you got it like how you can uh, do with the octal representation with the uh, alphabetical notation. So that's all for today. I hope you got to learn new thing and uh, hope you are able to change the permission of files. So play with play more with the, all these kind of stuffs. Okay, so you will get to learn more things. Okay, so that's all for today and we'll meet in the next video. So thank you guys. Thank you for watching and yeah, if you have any doubts then please ask us in the comment section. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for watching.